Surely many of you know about the Anonymous Collective and many of the actions they've carried out in the past years. Or maybe you've seen protesters using the famous mask that represents them. So, do you know exactly what this group is and how it works? We'll try to figure it out now that they are in the spotlight again due to the documents related to Epstein's case. The truth is that Anonymous is not a specific and defined collective. Instead, it's just a pseudonym that many different groups and individuals around the world decide to adopt. They use this pseudonym to organize and carry out actions and protests related to social activism. At first, they only acted through the internet, but with the time, they started carrying out activities outside of the web. They speak out in defense of several values, mainly freedom of speech, access to information, and independence on the internet. That's why they've positioned themselves against many different organizations, among them public services, companies with a worldwide presence, copyright societies, and of course, all systems of government censorship. The term anonymous is inspired by the anonymity of people who publish comments and images on the internet without being a registered user. The term started to be used in text forums and image boards in a sense of shared identity, a title which encompasses an entire collective. In the beginning, some people would play and joke around referring to anonymous as a specific person, calling him anon. What's for sure is that the only element officially associated with Anonymous is the famous mask used in the movie V for Vendetta. It represents Guy Fox, the English conspirator who in 1605 tried to attack the government by blowing up the House of Lords in London. But then, what is Anonymous exactly? An organized group? A collective hive mind over the internet? Or is it just a trend and a fad? The truth is that the only definition of Anonymous is that it doesn't have a definition. And that might be one of its biggest strengths, that it cannot be attacked or dismantled directly. However, since Anonymous isn't an official group with any known spokesperson, sometimes it's difficult to confirm the authenticity of any news or information published in its name. Anonymity is the basis of its strength, but it's also a double-edged sword because a single individual outside of the group can use the pseudonym to spread fake news, putting the reputation of Anonymous at risk. Anonymous emerged in the popular website 4chan as a simple proposal to have some fun subverting social networks and playing pranks, but soon it started to take on a more serious form with the intention of causing social impact and changing things. When its popularity increased, the idea of Anonymous being a collective became a viral phenomenon over the internet. In 2008, it started appearing in the mainstream media all around the world and was associated to cyber activism for the first time when alleged members carried a series of actions against the Church of Scientology in what they called Project Chinology. From that point on, protests, news and cyber attacks associated with Anonymous started to increase rapidly. These attacks are carried out by unidentified people, capable of organizing from different places in the world and who bring up current affairs and related operations. They use different online platforms and social networks to form small groups and coordinate them to take their protest to the streets. They've faced rejections in many occasions though, such as in December of 2010, when Twitter banned the allegedly official anonymous account. Shortly after, Facebook deleted the Operation Payback page, which described a series of actions they would take against several companies related to copyright enforcement. And from April 2011 onwards, YouTube started to delete all of the videos uploaded to their accounts. On the other hand, many websites have had a strong relationship with this movement. Forums such as 4chan in the US and Futaba Channel in Japan, sites such as A-Bombs World, Wikis such as Encyclopedia Dramatica and several IRC chats have been used to organize their protests and actions. Some other well-known events attributed to Anonymous have been their support of WikiLeaks in the fight against terrorism, the Million Mask March, hacking the NASA and their constant campaign against President Donald Trump. As always, TikTokers, we encourage you to search for more information and share with us in the comments what your thoughts are about anonymous actions.
enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode. Okay, so we now know what, uh, who this anonymous person is. It's a random person. You cannot define the definition of anonymous. So, yeah, you can't. Many people said we don't know who this person is or whatever, but yeah. Pen down in the comment section down below what you got, what you can, on what you guys can tell me who you think Anonymous could be and why. Remember to subscribe, like the video, ring the bell, and turn on notifications. Thanks. You guys are awesome. This is the Drafting Axe to Shiny Scallion. You don't want to mess with the axe, and hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, ciao, peace.